Tonight, another local school district is demanding the state change the student vaccine mandate from a requirement to a recommendation. Action News Now reporter Esteban Reynoso went tonight to the Biggs Unified School District board meeting where parents and board members were in agreement. Over 600 students and staff members here at Biggs Unified all under an upcoming vaccine mandate, a mandate that parents and the board do not want to cooperate with. When you arrive into Biggs from Highway 99, the first thing you see when you enter Big City Limits is Biggs Elementary. School is seen first here, and parents want to see choice first when it comes to their children's vaccination status. There is a first and second to approve action item 7B. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The board passing the resolution to send a letter to authorities and the governor's office that they do not want to require vaccines for staff or students. That we give parents the choice and not the vaccines. Superintendent Doug Kalin sent this statement to Action News Now echoing the words he said in the board meeting. Quote, our school board has sided with local control at the start of the school year in August. It goes on to say they believe in choice. Quote, the board believes masks and vaccines should side with the parents, not the government. End quote. I asked parents off camera why they wouldn't have their child take it despite them being fully vaccinated themselves. They said, quote, it was unproven. The Pfizer vaccine for children ages 5 to 11 does have emergency authorization from the FDA and approval by the CDC, but it isn't until the FDA gives it full approval that the state will make it a mandate. Still, some parents tell me no matter what happens, their child will not get the vaccine. And even when this mandate is implemented, there is the option of a medical or religious exemption anyone can apply for. However, Superintendent Kalen explained to parents that in the next few months, if this vaccine mandate passes legislation, it will be permanent. If it goes through that process and is added to the 10 mandated vaccines to attend school, then, then that, that's a whole different world that we'll have to deal with. The superintendent plans to also send the letter to local leaders as well. In Biggs, Esteban Reynoso, Action News Now coverage you can count on. Biggs now joins Thermalito, Happy Valley, and Durham as school districts that do not plan to cooperate with the mandate.